Hello world, this is Random Fix, and this is gonna be a review video about the Jan Dell 2200 watt sine wave inverter here. And I have it installed right underneath that seat and it's working. So I am really happy to bring you guys this video. And so I'm gonna show you guys the install and I'll let you guys know towards the end of the video if I've discovered anything about the unit that I wish I could change. So this is gonna be a real world review as a lot of the spec sheets that you're gonna find on their websites don't really correlate to the real world value. So if you guys are running a 12 volt setup in your van, make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of this video just to make sure you don't end up having to rip out anything. As I'm gonna tell you guys the truth, cause I hate wasting anybody's time and I wanna make sure that these reviews are authentic. And I understand that it takes a long time to go ahead and swap out these units. And your time is definitely money and I appreciate you guys, thanks. Hello world, this is Random Fix and I just uninstalled my second inverter here on my camper build and the last inverter I had was the Ampeak 2000 watt inverter here and it was a great inverter, however, I realized it did not handle the induction cooktop. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it out for the third inverter here. And it's really hard to go ahead and find a 12 volt high power inverter that can go ahead and handle a microwave, convection oven, induction stovetop, water heater, all the gaming consoles, and not have any faults. So this is going to be my third one. Let me show you guys the unit here. So we got the Gandel 2200 watt continuous sine wave inverter here. So I think this is going to go ahead and handle the cooktop, the water heater, and everything else that I showed you guys earlier. And it has a peak usage of 4400 watts. So I'm hoping this is going to work out. And this is the amp peak 2000 watt inverter I took out. So if you guys are just looking for something that can handle everything on the cheap, guys, this inverter is amazing. And everything was great except for the induction cooktop. So if you're on a budget and you don't have an induction cooktop, I would definitely go with this unit right here. And the previous version I had was going to be from, I believe, Zantac. It was a 2000 watt inverter and it could not handle the convection oven after about a month. So this is going to be a long term review. So I'll give you the findings at the end of the video. So before I finalize my installation, I decided to go ahead and run the water heater that I have in the back. And just wanted to see how this unit is going to hold up. And it looks like it's taking in about 1400 watts. And everything on this is feeling good. It's not too hot. The fan is working on the back. And the water heater in the back is turned on. Let me show you guys that. So there's the water heater. It's plugged in. Turned on. And you can hear it. If you really pay attention. And I'll let you guys know when I actually get hot water out of here. And after about five minutes, I have hot water out here. So it's pretty nice. And... This is the very first 12 volt inverter that I've actually tried out that delivers with sine wave. So I'm really happy with the overall quality of this. And the big power bank like this, I could run that water heater for about five hours. That's what it shows on the Victron Smart Shunt. And really pleased with the overall quality of this. Quite surprised. I've been looking for brand names such as Renergy and Victron but when it comes down to 12 volts again it's really hard to find a high output unit that can go ahead and deliver. If you guys are enjoying this video here about the 2200 watt sine wave inverter from Glendale go ahead and give the video a thumbs up as it really lets YouTube know that I'm bringing you guys valuable content. If you guys have other units that might work in a sprinter especially for underneath the seats Please leave those in the description box down below. Thanks. So after about 45 minutes, 
the unit has gone through and gotten all the water to a desirable temperature and so it's not really putting out anything else as far as power and the water in the back here is HOT hot it's actually a little bit too hot for me so I might want to dial it down a little bit but overall really satisfied with the inverter here and one of the nice things about this particular unit here is that the remote hole is the same exact size as the Xantrex 2000 watt sine wave inverter here so I did not have to go and buy another panel here and everything works really nice and easy and again this is a great unit I think you guys will be pleasantly happy with it well there you guys go we have the inverter installed it's been a few months no issues and other than the van is up for sale I have no regrets about installing this particular unit and this did take me a little while to go ahead and find as I kept trying different inverters and either because of the size or their capacity, they did not pass the test. So I am so glad that I went ahead and stumbled upon this. If you guys got any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down below and make it a great day. If you guys want to check out the whole van build playlist, you guys will find it in the video description and also at the end of this video here. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.